So in this video, we're going to show you how to connect the L298 motor controller to the base. And we're also going to show you how to wire the motors to the motor controller. So the first thing we need to do is we're going to put our bezel around it. This is part of the original tap light and that'll kind of, we just want to make sure it fits and see how the, the motor, the L298 uh, is, fits in there. And it's a, it's a pretty snug fit. So it's important to uh, get a sense for how the bezel is going to go around it. We want to make sure everything is centered. So once that's uh, sort of centered and set up right, we're going to take a, uh, a, a pencil, and if you have a, uh, a pen or, or whatever, anything you, you have to mark the edges, that would be great. Uh, I found that a mechanical pencil works well because it, it's easy to get around the edges. So you can sort of see the faint outline that I've drawn there, and that's going to allow us to make sure that the uh, motor controller is in the center. So we're going to put about a quarter size blob of hot glue down, and we're going to put our motor controller right on top of that and line it up with the marks that we've just made. Now, it's really important that we line that motor controller up with those marks. If the uh, motor controller is shifted to one side or another, the bezel won't fit over the top in the right way. And, and so it won't look right and it, it won't fit together quite right. It takes a while for that hot glue to, uh, to dry uh, and to cure because there's a lot of hot glue there. So there's a lot of thermal mass and it takes a while for it to, uh, to cool down. You can actually feel the heat sink, um, which is the part that my uh, left hand is connected to. Uh, you could feel the heat sink getting warmer because it's transferring some of that heat from the hot glue up. So once the hot glue is in place and the L298 is, is firmly in place, let's double check and make sure that the bezel still fits on um, over around the wires and the, um, and the uh, L298. Now remember there's a bunch of different connections on the inside of that bezel so uh, you might have to rotate it to get it to fit. Um, so in any case, that's basically how the bezel is going to fit, and we've got everything the way we want it as far as the, uh, the L298. So now what we're going to do is we're going to trim down our motor wires. These are the two motor wires here. We're going to connect those to uh, one side of our L298, and then we'll connect the uh, other two motor wires to the other side of the L298 motor controller, and just right there. And what we'll do is we're going to strip off about a quarter, uh, a little less than a quarter, about an eighth inch of insulation off the edge of the wire. And once we've got that insulation stripped off of both wires on both sides, we can, uh, we can go ahead and, and then start uh, attaching those wires. Um, and you don't need to strip off a whole lot of insulation. It's actually important that you strip off uh, only about an eighth of an inch, just maybe just a little bit more. Uh, 3 sixteenths of an inch because if you have too much exposed wire uh, the the positive and negative terminal could touch and then they uh, they won't work uh, the motors won't work appropriately you'll get a short um, okay so we're going to loosen our uh, screws and on the uh, on the motor mount connector connection there and then we're going to put our two motor wires in and we'll tighten those screws back down and that's going to hold those wires in place and notice there's no exposed wire it's just insulation coming out of the motor mount uh, block there, the motor block. So we're tightening, tightening that down and then we're gonna put our other, uh, other wire in there and you can just sort of push it to the side if it's a little too long. Okay, so that's about it.